Hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install Android 4.0.3 Ice Cream Sandwich on your Nexus S 4G. This is a source build, source code build, so it's not official, but it is a so source code build and 4G is working. So it's getting closer and closer to official and it should be the fastest one yet. Um, the best working one. The only bug that I know of is incoming MMS uh, picture messaging doesn't download, but it does on Go SMS. So keep that in mind with incoming picture messages. Other than that, that's uh, 4G works as I said, but you're gonna need to make sure you have Clockwork Mod to install this. Once you do, click on the link in the description of the video. Huge thanks and shout out to SPH33R for this. I don't know if it's pronounced Saphir. I, I don't know if it's pronounced anything, but thanks to him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he compiled this for us. As you can see, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3. My um, guess is it's compiled from source code that was released yesterday for the Nexus S 3G, but he included some tweaks and everything to get 4G working. So awesome. Download link is right there. Click on that download link. You're all, Once you have that downloaded, you're, um, you're not ready to go yet. You're also going to need to click on the G Apps link in the description of the video. It's going to take you to a multi-upload website and just hit direct download and download the G Apps v5.1 zip. So you're going to need to download those two zip files the ROM itself and the G apps. So you got full Crespo 4G zip and G apps version 5.1 zip. So you got those two zip files, put those both on your internal storage. Once they're both on your internal storage, you're ready to go. So go back to your Nexus S 4G and once you're back, if this could focus, sorry about that, power off your Nexus S 4G. So I'm gonna hit power off. And now I'm going to need to boot into Clockwork Mod. To do so, press and hold the volume up and power button at the same time. So keep those held down. And it should take you into the bootloader. Now, once you're there, just press the volume down button twice. What? Why isn't this focusing? This is strange. But volume down button twice and press recovery. So it should reboot your Nexus S4G into your custom recovery, whether it's twerp recovery or clockwork mod recovery. I have clockwork mod recovery right there. As you can see, clockwork mod, but twerp recovery works just fine. The method is gonna be the same. I'm going to recommend making an Android backup before you install this. So go to backups and restore and make the an Android backup. That is what I recommend. And I'm also gonna recommend wiping everything. So go to your wipe menu and go to wipe data factory reset and hit yes. So it's gonna wipe all your data. So make sure you back everything up that you need to make an Android backup. And it says data wipe complete. Once that's done, go back to the wipe menu and hit wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. So it's gonna wipe your cache. And once that's done, go back to the wipe menu and hit wipe Delvic cache. And that's it. So wipe your cache, Delvic cache, and data. So wipe your data, cache, Delvic cache. Once that's done, you're ready to go. Hit install zip, choose zip, and go to the full Crespo 4G ROM itself and hit yes. So it's gonna go ahead and install the ROM itself. And once it's done installing, I will be right back. Be a little patient with the install process. All right, so install from SD card complete. Now what I'm gonna have you guys do is go back to choose zip from SD card, select that, and then select that G apps version 5.1 zip. So select that G app zip and hit yes, install. It shouldn't take as long as the ROM since it is a lot smaller. What the G apps is, it's the Google apps zip add-on. It's gonna install the market, Gmail, talk, all the good uh, Google apps. But once that's done, just hit the back arrow and then just hit reboot system now. And that's it. So install the ROM and then the G apps and you're good to go. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna be doing a separate review video of this ROM, showing you 4G working, all that good stuff. As you can see, it's just got the gleaming Android boot animation for now. But anyways, that's that's about it. I'm going to be doing a separate review video. Be sure to watch that. Click on the link in the description of the video. And as always, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Links will be in the description of the video. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.